Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. We're going to begin our service with the sounding of the shofar. that you have given to your people. Father, we ask that this morning as we're here, we would unwrap that gift in the unique way that you gave it to us so that we would receive from you the blessing that you have for us this day. Abba, we ask that you'll anoint and bless uh, Eliana and Margo as they come to be bat mitzvah today. Father, you help them to remember all the things that they've practiced and learned and prepared for today. Father, we ask that you'll take away any nervousness they might have as they stand before their friends and loved ones, this community at Bredon. Abba, we're thankful for the decision they're making to become bat mitzvah today. B'Shem Yeshua Meshekenu. Amen and amen. You can be seated for a moment. Um, I just want to begin by saying welcome again to uh, the family, and if you're a first-time visitor here this morning and you did not receive a visitor's information packet, if you would raise your hand, we'll get one to you. Uh, we have one on the north side there with their hand up, if we could get a packet to them. Okay, good. Inside that packet is some information as well as a visitor's card. If you would fill that card out and then turn it in to me after service, uh, that would give me a chance to meet you and greet you and welcome you and possibly answer any questions that were caused today by our service. Uh, we're excited about this special service. We're also excited that next week, uh, Israel and Isaac will be having their bar mitzvah. And uh, we're uh, looking forward to, to them also. For those that are unfamiliar with what a bar or bat mitzvah is, uh, let me say this. First of all, at our synagogue, in order to be bar or bat mitzvah, first you have to be born again. You have to be a believer in Yeshua. Bar or bat mitzvah does not make you a believer. It does not save you or redeem you or any of those things. All it is is when a child reaches the age of 12, usually for girls, somewhere between 12 and 13, 13 for boys, and they make a proclamation, proclam they say to the congregation, I am living for the Lord because I've made a choice to become part of his community and walk as an adult within the congregation. And so that's what's happening today. Eliana and Margo are going to stand before the congregation. They're going to lead the service, all of our liturgy. They're going to read from the Torah, uh, the Haftorah, the Brit Kadashah. They're going to share a drosh each individually with you. And they're making a statement, this is my choice. My parents are not forcing me to come. I'm not coming because I have to. But I am doing this because I'm choosing to become a woman within the congregation. So that's what's happening. There are a couple of things you may see. It is traditional to throw candy at bar and bat mitzvahs. So it is possible that there will be some candy thrown uh, at some points during the service. Please don't aim at their faces. Okay? Uh, so that's, that's one thing. It is also a, uh, there, you'll see that some people will be giving gifts to the uh, bat mitzvah today, the, the two of them, and to the bar mitzvah. It is not a requirement to give a gift, but if you feel like you would like to bless them for their efforts and welcome them in the community that way, you are welcome to do that. And we have cards for both of them on the table over here. If you have not signed the card, please do so. Even if you are not part of our congregation regularly, but you are here, please sign the card to bless them today. Uh, you'll also notice our service is going to be in a little slightly different order today. Uh, because we're moving the Mourner's Kaddish to after the Torah readings and a couple of other things. So, and we're also going to have the children who have memorized verses share those verses after 
uh, the ladies share their droshes, not before the Torah. And all of the kids are staying in the sanctuary today. So after the Torah procession, children, you're going back to your classes. I mean, back to your parents, not to your classes. Amen? Amen. Okay. Everybody take a deep breath and let it out. That helped Eliana and Margo to relax. And we're going to welcome the worship team up at this time. One last thing, and I know I'm not on the mic, so if somebody lost their, I don't know how often we have people leave their glasses at synagogue. If these are your driving glasses, please don't leave without them. Uh, but if they're, they may be reading glasses, if they're yours, are these yours? Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Um, we are so excited to be here um, to worship the Creator with all of you. And um, we are especially blessed because we have Natasha with us this morning. Amen. It's, um, and it's just so good to have Natasha and her family um, back with us again. And um, if that weren't enough, as Rabbi mentioned, it's the day of our daughter's bat mitzvah. Eliana and Margo, and uh, we could not be more proud of them. And if you guys don't know the history, Natasha and I have been best friends since before the girls were born, and so we were pregnant with them at the same time, and so uh, they've known each other and have been best friends since birth, and they've just grown up so much together, and so they're just excited to share their life's journey with all of us. And um, for us, this is going to be a very emotional service, seeing our girls grow up because, you know, as all you parents now, it's just like one day you're holding them in your arms and then the next day they're all grown up and you just hope and pray that you've done your best with them and that um, they'll grow into wonderful human beings who will love and serve God and just be blessed all around and be a blessing all around. And um, just every day we pray, we pray for their health and their, pro their protection and so... I want to play, pray for a special blessing over all of our children this morning. Every child here, every child of every parent watching, and I pray that Hashem just bless and protect and guide all of our children in His ways, because our children are such blessings. Amen? Amen. Amen. And so we're going to start out with a song that we love, You Who Fear, because Scripture tells us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all knowledge. And we also read in the Psalms, Fear the Lord, you His saints, for those who fear Him lack Nothing. Young lions go lacking and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. And we want our children to lack no good thing. Um, and so I just encourage you all to just let go of all distractions, let go of the weak, all of life's troubles, and meditate on Hashem and on His Word and on His promises that never fail. And let's lift our hands and our hearts and our voices yes. to the King of all creation, to Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Amen. So let's stand and get into some worship.
is good, amen? amen. And this song is based on Isaiah 12, 2, which says, Behold, God is my deliverer. I trust and I'm not afraid. Amen? For God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. That is why his name is Yeshua. Yeshua means salvation. Amen? So he became our salvation, and um, we have that promise. We have, we have that that we can go, go to and uh, let the Lord be our salvation.
Jose Shalom. May the one who creates peace on high bring peace to us and to all of Israel. And we say, Amen. Amen. Jose Shalom. There is no 
nothing impossible for you, Lord. You have the power. You created the earth.
Thank you. 
give you Behind. 
may be seated. Okay, whole bunch of announcements this morning. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, it already everybody knows this is the bat mitzvah today, and next week is Israel and Isaac's bat mitzvah. Tuesday night Bible study will be continuing the Romans in context. What did I say? Bar mitzvah. If I said bat. Um, Tuesday night we'll continue Romans in Context. Tuba Shabbat is January 27th. We'll be gathering here at 4.30 to plant a tree. The Intercongregational Picnic is January 31st at 12 o'clock. RSVP to Jonathan, uh, Rabbi Jonathan, or call the office to sign up. Or you can sign up on the yellow table over there somewhere, which I don't see the sign-up sheet. So you can't sign up there. Yes, have people talk to him about volunteering too. For that. We're going to need people to set up to help serve and to clean up uh, at the picnic. You can order t-shirts, uh, Bradam t-shirts on at the office or on bonfire, Danny Boy's jackets, the IDF fleece jackets are still available. If you want a calendar, call the office. Mark your calendars for VTS July 19th through 23rd. It's coming up for our children. If you're interested in helping with VTS this year, please contact Catherine or Rivka. If you would like to volunteer your husband or your wife, please contact Catherine or Rivka. Uh, if you want to become a member of the congregation, fill out the contact form on the website and uh, we'll send you information about membership classes. Uh, sign up for Brit on text messaging. We're looking for volunteers to run the Mevo on Shabbat and Tuesday nights. That's our video system. Uh, we're looking for volunteers to drive our congregants when they need rides, kind of like a congregational Uber service. Uh, the synagogue painting, the facelift is going on already. The caulking and washing and prep work and some of the repairs are already done. Uh, if you voted last week and you voted for color number five, you win. Okay, if you didn't vote for color number five, you have time this week to change your vote to number five and you can win also. Okay. Um, we're looking for a donation of a rocker recliner for the nursery, please. Uh, if you have one available or you know of one, let us know. The Haggadot for Passover, we're, we're uh, ordering Haggadot for those that would like them to host their own Passover Seder. For those that don't know what a Haggadah is it is a book that just has all the information for doing your Passover. So you open to page one and just read it straight through. And if you just read it straight through, you'll have a wonderful Passover experience. Uh, if you would like one of the Haggadah that we are uh, distributing, just let them know in the office. You must pay for those during business hours. Um, please pray for Cheryl, who had surgery on her knee, Timothy, of course we're always praying for Timothy, uh, but also the other Timothy who had hernia surgery this week. Mary Grace had shoulder surgery yesterday, pray for her. Barbara still needs prayer, pray for her. Marquita had surgery on her arm, pray for her. We have a number of people that are fighting some kind of cold or flu or something, pray for them. I appreciate, by the way, we're missing a lot of people this morning because there's some kind of a winter flu or cold or something going on. And we want to say we appreciate those people staying home while they're sick and not sharing with us. Amen. Amen? So, but we do love you and miss you. And if you're not here, please know that we miss you and we want you to be back with us. And I wanted to say uh, before we go on, that uh, Rabbi Kraus and uh, Nadi could not be here today. He is uh, getting uh, treatment. And so, but I wanted to say how much I miss him uh, and his wife and how much I wish they could be here.
to watch, but I know they're going to watch you on video and be blessed by that. But I did want to acknowledge uh, that we love Rabbi Krauss and Nadi and wish they could be here with us for this special occasion. I think that is all the announcements I have to make. So I think that the girls have a song that they're going to do, and then we will begin uh, the rest of the bat mitzvah.
me, may my prayers to you, O Lord, be at the right time. O God, in your abundant righteousness, answer me with the truth of your salvation.
by the way when you retire and when you arise. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, and let them be frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and upon your gates.
156 for Gibor Adonai. You, O Lord, are mighty forever. You raise the dead. You are mighty to save. You sustain the living with grace. Resurrect the dead with abundant mercy. Uphold the falling. Heal the sick. Set free those in bondage. And keep faith with those that sleep in the dust. Who is like you, master of mighty deeds? And who can compare to you, king, who causes death and restores life and makes salvation sprout? You are faithful to resurrect the dead. Blessed are you, O Lord, who resurrects the dead. Generation to generation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
1,262 for the Kaddish. Magnified and sanctified be his great name in the world which he has created according to his will. May he establish his kingdom during your life and during your days and during the life of the whole house of Israel, even swiftly and soon, and say, Amen. Let his great name be blessed forever and to all eternity. Let his praise be glorified, exalted, extolled, and honored, magnified and brought in the name of the Holy One, blessed is he. Though he be high above all the blessings and songs, praises and consolations which are uttered in the world, and say, Amen. May he who makes high peace on mountains make peace for us and upon all Israel. Children will make their way to the front. We have the most amazing, the most wonderful, the most Yeshua loving, the most parent obeying children in the entire world. Okay, children, line up for Torah procession. We're going to do the verses after they do their drashas. So we're changing up just a little bit. Don't worry. If you've memorized a verse, you will have opportunity to hold the sword and share it this morning. Uh, I also want to let everybody know that um, we're going to be doing a different parasha from the parasha for this week, this week. Normally we would be on parasha Bo, but because the girls were supposed to do their bat mitzvah back early in the spring uh, during parasha Naso, they're going to be reading parasha Naso today during our service. So all of you will have opportunity to read parasha Bo Either you should have already read it or you can read it at home today, but the girls are going to be doing Parsha Naso this morning. Amen? If everyone will rise.
When the ark would travel, Moses would say, Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let them that hate you flee from before you. For from Zion will go forth the Torah, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Blessed be he who in his holiness gave the Torah to his people Israel. Amen. And Joe, if you will join me. We will bless our children and send them back to their parents this morning. Avinu Malkeno, our Father, our King, we thank you for each and every one of these children. They're a blessing and a gift from you. Abba, we ask that this day would be a day of remembrance for them as they prepare and grow to become bar or bat mitzvah themselves. Abba, we ask that they would learn your word, they would learn to have a relationship with you through Messiah Yeshua, that they would be born again and that they would impact their world for your kingdom. B'Shem Yeshua Meshekenu, amen and amen. And the children can go back to their parents. Ve'amod Eliana bat hadasa la Torah. Baruch Adonai Hamborach. Baruch Adonai Hamborach le'olam ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamborach le'olam ba'ed. Baruch 
Blessed is the Lord, the blessed one. Vayadaber Adonai el Moshe lemor. Naso et rosh benei gershon. Gam hem. לביית אבותם למשפחותם, מבין שלושים שנה ומלה עד בין חמישים שנה תפקוד אותם. כל הבא, לצבו צבא לעבוד עבודה באוהל מועד. זאת, ואת, זאת עבודת משפחות הגרשוני לעבוד ולמסה, ונשאו את יריות המשכן ואת, ואת מס, אה, אוהל מועד. מכסהו ומכסה התחש אשר עליו. מימלה ואת מסך פתח באוהל מועד. אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נתה בתוכנו. ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has given us a Torah of truth and has planted eternal life in our midst. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the Torah. Again, Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Take a census also of the sons of Gershon, by their ancestral households and by their families. Count all the males from 30 to 50 years of age, everyone coming to work in the service of the tent of meeting. This is the task of the Gershonite families working and carrying burdens. They are to carry the curtains of the tabernacle, the tent of meeting, its covering, and the outer covering of the porpoise hide. The curtains are for the entrance of the tent of meeting. The curtains surrounding the courtyard and the altar, the curtain used for the entrance, the ropes, and all the equipment used in its operations. They are to do all that needs to be done with these things. The sons of the Gershonites are to do all their tasks, whether carrying or doing other work, according to the word of Aaron and his sons. Baruch et Adonai. Oh, sorry. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach le'olam ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach le'olam ba'ed. Baruch et Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam. Asher bach rabbanu ha'olam. Amen. Bless the Lord, the blessed one. Blessed is the Lord, the blessed one for all eternity. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has chosen us from all people and given us this Torah. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the Torah. Shaarchastermishkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkanbeshkan
Ubehadatem Alechem Bemish Meret et Kol Masaan Zo Avarat Mishbechot Bene Hagerashuni Belhel Moed Umish Martan Bead Itamar Ben Aharon Hakohen Mi Ben Shloshim Shana No Bene Merari Hamish Bechotan Avotan Avot Avotan Tifkod Otan Mi Ben Shloshim Shana Vamala Vead Shlishim Shana Tifkedem Kohaba Latsava La Avod Et Avodat Ohel Moed Ruh et Adonai Hamvorach. Ruh et Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher natan lanu tchurat emet. Bachaye olam nata bechochinu. Baruch et Adonai. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us a Torah of truth and has planted eternal life in our midst. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the Torah. surrounding the courtyard and the altar, the curtain for the entrance, the ropes, and all the equipment used in its operation. There are to do all that, that needs to be done with these things. The, so, the sons of the Gershonites are to do all their tasks, whether carrying or doing other work. According to the word of Aaron and his sons, you are to assign them to all that is their responsibility to carry. This is the duty of the families and the sons of the Gershonites regarding the tent of meeting. Their duty will be under the directions of Ithamar, son of Aaron, and the Ahakohen, the Kohenites. <laughs> Next, count the son of Merari according to their families and their ancestral house. Son 30 years old and upwards to 50, everyone coming to work in the service of the tent of meeting. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, 
King of the universe, who has selected good prophets and was pleased with their words, which were spoken truthfully. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, who chooses the Torah, your servant Moses, your people Israel, and prophets of good truth and righteousness. She'll be reading from Judges 13, beginning at verse 2, and reading through verse 25. Now there was a certain man from Zora, from the Danites' clan, whose name was Manoah. His wife was barren and bore no children. Then the angel of Adonai appeared to the woman and said to her, Behold, now you are barren and have not born children, but you will conceive and bear a son. Now therefore, be careful not to drink wine or strong drink or eat any unclean thing. For behold, you will conceive and bear a son. Let no razor come upon his head, for the boy will be in his right to God in the womb. He will begin to deliver Israel from the hand of the Philistines. Then the woman came to and told her husband, saying, A man of God came to me, and his appearance was like the appearance of the angel of God. Very awesome. But I did not ask him where he was from, nor did he tell me his name. He said to me, Behold, you will conceive and bear a son, so drink no wine or strong drink, and eat nothing unclean, for the child will be in this right to God from the womb to the day of his death. Then Manoah entered the, entreated Adonai and said, My Lord, please let the man of God whom you have sent to us again and teach us what we will do for the boy to be born. God listened to the voice of Manoah, and the angel of God came again to the woman as she was sitting in the field. Her husband Manoah was not with her. So the woman ran quickly and told her husband and said to him, Look, the man who came to me the other day has appeared to me. So Manoah got up and followed his wife. When he came to the man, he asked him, Are you the one who spoke to the woman? I am, he said. Then Manoah said, Now may your words come about. What will be the child's rule in his mission? The angel of Adonai said to Manoah, Let the woman abstain from all that I have mentioned her. She should not eat anything that comes from the grapevine, or drink wine or strong drink, or anything unclean. She must observe all that I commanded her. Then Manoah said to the angel of Adonai, Please let us detain you so that we may prepare a young goat for you. But the angel of Adonai said to Manoah, If you could detain me, I would not eat your food. But if you prepared a burnt offering, then offer it to Adonai, for Manoah did not realize that he was the angel of Adonai. So Manoah asked the angel of Adonai, What is your name, so that when your words come to pass, we may honor you? The angel of Adonai said to him, Why do you ask for my name? Is Ad to Adonai. He did something wonderful as Manoah and his wife were watching. For it came about when the flame went up from off the altar towards heaven that the angel of Adonai ascended in the flame of the altar. Manoah and his wife were looking on. Then they fell on their faces to the ground. But the angel of Adonai appeared no more to Manoah or to his wife. Then Manoah realized that he was the angel of Adonai. Manoah said to his wife, We will surely die because we have seen God. But his wife said to him, If Adonai, if Adonai had desired to kill us, he would not have accepted a burnt offering and a meal offering from our hands. Nor would he have shown us all these things or let us hear such things as these at this time. The woman bore a son and called his name Samson. 
So the boy grew up, and Adonai blessed him. Zerah Adonai began to stir in Maha, in Mahanadan between Zerah and Eshkol. Baruhu Chetza Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Son Cho HaOlamin Tzadik V'cho HaDorot Ha'el HaNe'eman HaOmer Ve'yosei Hamzeper Ronkaye Shecho Devera Vemet Vatzedek Neman Atahu Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, Rock of all eternities, faithful in all generations, the trustworthy God who says and does, who speaks and makes it come to pass, all of whose words are true and righteous, passionate, God and King. Blessed are you, O Lord, God, who is faithful in all his works. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natanu Mashiach Yeshua, vehadiv rosh al habrit haharasha. Baruch atah Adonai, notein habrit haharasha. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has given us Messiah Yeshua in the words of the new covenant. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the new covenant. Eliana will be reading from John chapter 7, beginning at verse 53 through verse 8, uh, chapter 8, 11. Then everyone went to his own house, but Yeshua went to the Mount of Olives. At dawn, he came again into the temple. All the people were coming to him, and he sat down and began to teach them. The Torah scholars and Pharisees bring in a woman who had been caught in adultery. After putting her in the middle, they say to Yeshua, Teacher, this woman has been caught in the act of committing adultery. In the Torah, Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? Now they were saying this to trap him, so that they would have grounds to accuse him. But Yeshua knelt down and started writing in the dirt with his finger. When they kept asking him, he stood up and said, The sinless one among you, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Then he knelt down again and continued writing on the ground. Now when they heard, they began to leave, one by one, the oldest ones first, until Yeshua was left alone with the woman in the middle. Straightening up, Yeshua had said to her, Woman, where are they? Did no one condemn you? No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Yeshua said. Go and sin no more. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu hadovar ha'emet, v'chaye olam nata betorcheinu. Baruch atah Adonai, notein habrit haharasha. Amen. If everyone will rise as we return the Torah to the ark. Mm-hmm. 
to those who take hold of it, and those who support it are praiseworthy. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and its paths are peace. Bring us back, Lord, to you, and we shall come. Renew our days as of old. privilege to be with all of you today and to be celebrating this special occasion along huh? oh, hello It is a privilege to be with all of you today and to be celebrating this special occasion alongside my best friend and my mishpocha. I am so grateful for this opportunity, especially considering the fact that we delayed this event because of COVID-19. It is Hashem who has enabled me to reach this special moment. I am also very thankful to my parents, grandparents, and even my little sisters for the love and support they've always given me. Margot and her family, as well as Rabbi Eric Tokacher, have also been very accommodating, and for that, I am grateful. Today marks the start of a new season in my life, where I reaffirm that I've chosen to follow God and to walk in His ways. Today's drosh comes from Parsha Naso, which in Hebrew means take a census or to lift up. Among other things, this Parsha includes the priestly duties, the Nazarite vow, the priestly blessing, and the dedication of the tabernacle. The Torah portion for this Parsha is in Numbers or Bemidbar. Bemidbar, the name of Numbers, comes from the first counting or numbering of Israel. Bemidbar takes place about 13 months after the exodus from Egypt. In the first part of the book, God now tells Moses to take Aaron and a leader from each tribe and count the people. But only 11 of the tribes of Israel were counted for battle at that time. Because of their special tabernacle duties, the Levites were not included in this count. They were set apart for holy service to God. Holy, or kadosh in Hebrew, meaning dedicated to God, is the exact opposite of something that is common. This is a foundational biblical concept. But much of what takes place in this Parsha is the counting of the Levites. The Levites were counted separately because they were chosen to perform the service in the tabernacle. The tabernacle, or Mishkan in Hebrew, means to dwell, rest, or to live in. This was the place where God and Israel met. The Mishkan served two specific purposes. One was simply a place in which many of the holy duties were done. The bringing of the offerings, the lighting of the menorah, the burning of the incense, etc. It served as a place where God's divine presence could dwell in the midst of Israel. The Torah calls the tabernacle the Ohel Moed, Tent of Meeting, a meeting place between God and Israel. This Parsha is packed with many awesome details, but my main focal point for the purposes of this drash will be the Aaronic Benediction, also called the Priestly Blessing or Birkat Kohanim. This blessing is found in Numbers 6, 24 through 26. We are going to review each individual part of the blessing. I will provide a few meaning. I will provide the meaning of a few key words and interpretation. Part 1, number 624. The Lord bless you and keep you. The word for bless in Hebrew is barach, which means to kneel down. This speaks of the king of the universe, the creator, our father descending to our level to bless us, his children. God blesses his people with prosperity, victory, and strength, and so many other things. I'm thankful to have seen God's blessings in my life in so many ways. Can you see his blessings too? God is good. Amen. The Hebrew word for keep is shamar, which means to guard or protect. This speaks of God's protection as a shepherd, keeping his children safe from harm. He is our helper, savior, and shield. I see this first part as a blessing in the physical category. Part 2, number 625. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. To me, the second part of the Birkat Kohanim includes an increased blessing, when it moves from just the physical to the soul. So, what does it mean to have out a nice face shining on us? Another scripture that can help me describe the part of the blessing is Proverbs 16:15, which says, In the light of the king's countenance is life, and his favor is as a cloud over the latter rain. 
Gracious in Hebrew is kanan, to show favor. So when God's face turns toward his people, his light rests upon us and gives us life. He shows us his favor as we receive his love, mercy, grace, and salvation. When God's face shines upon us, light consumes darkness. He wants us, his children, to seek his face. His gift of abundant life is not given because of anything we have earned, but rather because of his infinite mercy, which he has always shown us and continues to do so even to this day. Part 3, number 626. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. The blessing climaxes when the most important element in life, shalom, is added. Shalom means peace in Hebrew. Shalom is much more than the absence of conflict. It is rest, tranquility, and an overall sense of well-being. It comes from the root word shalom, which also includes other meanings, such as it was worth it, it was paid for, perfect, and whole. This third part of the blessing is deep and relates to the spirit. I see this final part of the blessing as Adonai restoring or making us, or restoring us or making things better than they were in the original state. This shows me that our Yeshua longs for his people to be made whole. Romans 5, 1 says, Therefore, having been made righteous by trusting, we have shalom with God through our Lord Yeshua the Messiah. Let this be a reminder to all of us that if we have a high priest in heaven who has an even higher order than Aaron, who blesses, blesses us with his shalom. Every week at our synagogue services, the Birkats Kohanim is said as we gather as a family. In fact, this blessing may be said sometimes daily. It is the only remaining connection between the today's synagogue and the ancient temple in Jerusalem. During the blessing, the hands of the rabbi are customarily spread out over the congregation. The four fingers on each hand are split into two sets of two fingers, thus forming the Hebrew character Shin, which is an emblem for Shaddai, Almighty God. You guys may remember the fictional character Spock from the Star Trek movie series, who made this hand gesture famous as he said, live long and prosper. I think it's cool that it's still relevant even today. I also find it interesting to know that this blessing is the oldest biblical text ever found, dating around the 7th or 6th century BC. It is 400 years older than the biblical text of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Archaeologists found this special portion of the Holy Scriptures written in two silver scrolls in the Jerusalem's Hinnom Valley. To conclude, I will highlight what follows the priestly blessing in this Parsha. In number 7, it says that when Moses finished setting up the tabernacle, he anointed it and consecrated it. And later it says in verse 89, And when Moses was gone to the tabernacle to, of the congregation to speak with him, then he heard the voice of one speaking to, unto him from off the mercy seat that was upon the ark of testimony from between the cherubim, and he spoke with him. Today we also have access into his presence through the blood of Yeshua. We can hear the voice of one who calls us from the mercy seat, and we can speak with him. Shabbat shalom. shalom. It is a privilege and an honor to be up here this morning to share my thoughts on this Parsha with everyone. This is a huge milestone for me. I never thought that we would actually be able to have a bat mitzvah because Corona kept pushing the date back. But God is good and now we are here. So originally, we were supposed to have our bat mitzvah during Parsha Naso. And because it's also my favorite Parsha and rabbis too, I'm going to share my thoughts on Parsha Naso instead of this week's Parsha. One reason I love this Parsha is because it's the Parsha where we are introduced to Samson. I always loved stories about superheroes from Superman to Wonder Woman and many others. As a young person, I feel it's important that we have another, that we have people to look up to and to aspire to. This, these people don't always have to be perfect but they should be good role models. By far, my favorite biblical superhero is Samson. Samson was a Nazir. A Nazir is a person who dedicates a set of amount of time to God. This dedication can last anywhere from a month to as long as a lifetime. A Nazir swears to drink, refrain from drinking wine or cutting his hair. He or she is not allowed to become contaminated by a dead body or anything else and withdraws from worldly matters. From the start, Samson with Nazir is completely separated from the mundane. The lifestyle is for those who choose to spend some time completely engrossed in godliness and nothing else. An average person cannot do this consistently because there are so many others that life, so many other things that life demands from us. Although Samson was 
Although Samson, like many other biblical characters, made many mistakes in his life, he was very dedicated to God. Because of his dedication, God allowed him to perform superhuman feats. Some of these include massacring an entire army of Philistines using just the jawbone of a donkey, knocking down stone pillars, and even slaying a lion with his bare hands. What we can learn from Samson is that when we walk in God's way, we can... He can bless us supernaturally, but when we go against God and break our vows, we invite hardship and tragedy into our lives. As we all know too well, the amazing Samson's downfall came when he got involved with a woman who betrayed him by cutting his hair. The lesson we can learn from this is to make sure that we only make relationships with godly people. Samson was a very unique superhero, and although most of us do not have superhuman strength, it's important to understand that all of us are unique creatures with very special and unique purposes and places in God's kingdom. We should never make ourselves feel inadequate by comparing ourselves with others. Just as a snowflake, just as all snowflakes are unique, so are we. Every person has their own special part to contribute to the community. We must also remember that younger and even older people may be looking to us as, a role mo as role models. So it is our job to live by way of example and to try to avoid living yeses be yeses and our noes be noes because we can see through the example of Samson what can happen when we break our vows. When we keep our promises, we become authentic human beings. We are, way, we are walking ways that are consistent with our beliefs. God cannot be anything but authentic. And although we may, we may not be called to make a vow of a Nazir, there are times in life that call for behaving like a Nazir. In this word, we live in, it seems, nearly impossible to completely withdraw from worldly matters. But if we ever have a time in our lives where we are feeling down spiritually, we can recharge ourselves by turning to the ways of a Nazir to help us get back on track. It doesn't have to be for a lifetime, for a month, or even for a day. We can just dedicate an hour of our day to God and commit ourselves to only godly things. We can concentrate on not speaking negatively about others. We can sit down and learn some Torah, or we can just help out a friend. The point is to just completely dedicate ourselves to God as much as we can. This will help us draw closer to him. I am very grateful to be a part of a community of people who love God and love each other. And I believe that we are all super beings. Now I will close with one of my favorite scripture verses from Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. It says, do you not know, have you not heard? The Lord is everlasting God the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. His understanding is beyond searching out. He gives power to the faint and increases the strength of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. I would just want to thank you all for being here and not and for supporting me in my life's journey. I pray that we all continue to grow in the knowledge and wisdom of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and our Lord, Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Okay. If uh, all of our young people that memorize verses will come to the front. Rabbi John. Isaiah 43.5. Fear not, for I am always with you. O Lord, how manifold are thy works, are thy works, 
and wisdom passed down made them all. His, his earth is full of thy riches. Psalm 124. Woo! So Psalms 96, Psalms 96, um, I, for, I forgot that part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sing unto the Lord a new song. <laughs> Amen. Now, in a moment... In a moment, the young ladies will come back and lead us in a final three liturgical prayers. Uh, before they do that, I want to invite those who are in mourning or remembrance to stand as we recite the Mourner's Kaddish together at this time of remembrance. Those that aren't standing, please take a note of those who are so that you can contact them, pray for them, uh, reach out to them, and encourage them during this time. Magnified and sanctified be his great name in the world which he has created according to his will. May he establish his kingdom during your life and during your days and during the life of the whole house of Israel, even swiftly and soon, and say, Amen. Let his great name be blessed forever and to all eternity. Blessed, praised, and glorified, exalted, extolled, and honored, magnified, and lauded be the name of the Holy One, Blessed is he. Though he be high above all the blessings and songs, praises and consolation which are uttered in the world, and say, Amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven and life upon us and upon all Israel, and say, Amen. May he who makes peace in his high places make peace upon us and upon all Israel, and say, Amen. Yit Gadal Yit Kadash Shmei Rabbah, Be'alma Divrakir Tevi Amlich Malchute. Bechayachon of Yomachon of Chaye de Kolbet Yisrael, Balgalav is man kari vimru, Amen. Yeheshme Rabba Mavarakla, Lama Lome Amaya, Yit Barak Vish Tabak Vi, Paar Vit Romam Vit Nase, Vit Hadar Vit Ale Vit Alal Shme de Kudusha Brihu, Le Lamin Koberkata Vishirata, Tushbechata Venechamata Damiran Baalma Vimru, Amen. Yeheshlama Rabba Min Shemai Vachaim Alenu, Val Kol Yisrael Vemru, Amen. O Se Shalom Bim Ramav Hu Ya Se Shalom Aleinu, Val Kol Yisrael Vemru, Amen. And you may be seated. I wanted to say just a couple of words before I invite Eliana and uh, Margo back up, and that is how tremendously proud I am of both of them. I was, I was very excited to find out that Margot's favorite Parsha was the same as mine. <laughs> and I want to thank the parents of both of them for assisting and making sure they had time and, and the, the ability to train and encouraging them through this process. It has been a long process. Um, and. Um, it's, it's interesting because um, I've had a bar mitzvah and I've had a child have a bar mitzvah. Uh, you now have had yours and it is harder for the parents to actually watch their child do this than it is for the child to do it because you've watched them. I mean, when I come up each week and do what I do, I just do what I do. But when a young person does, who did fantastic this morning and Isaac and Israel, Every syllable, I'm hanging, are they going to do it right? Are they going to get it right? And I know I'm just a rabbi. Their parents have listened to this for a year, and they know every word and every, are they going to get it? Are they going to do it right? It is just as stressful on the parents. So I just want to take a second and let the parents go. <sighs> because it's almost over now. And the grandparents. And the grandparents. So anyhow... I'm just so blessed by their, I'm looking forward to them being 
more active in, in helping to lead liturgy during our service. And after those joshes, I may just let them start speaking on Saturday mornings because they did such an excellent job. So, with that, let me tell you what's going to happen now. They are going to lead us in the last three liturgical prayers. Then we're going to let them come down and their parents, and if there's grandparents here, and I know there are on both sides, they're going to gather around them and mom and dad will say a blessing over them. And then the girls are going to lead us in uh, the ironic benediction song that mom usually leads us in as we close out our service. So, ladies, and I turned your books to the right places. And please rise. English There is none like our God. There is none like our God. There is none like our Lord. There is none like our King. There is none like our Deliverer. Who is like our God? Who is like our Lord? Who is like our King? Who is like our Deliverer? Let us give thanks to our God. Let us give thanks to our Lord. Let us give thanks to our King. Let us give thanks to our Deliverer. Blessed be our God. Blessed be our Lord. Blessed be our King. Blessed be our Deliverer. You are our God. You are our Lord. You are our King. You are our Deliverer. You are he to whom our fathers offered before you the fragrant incense. Ain kedo heinu, ain kadoneinu, ain kemal keinu, ain kemoshienu, mi kedo heinu, mi kadoneinu, mi kemal keinu, mi kemoshienu, no te le lo heinu, no te la doneinu, no. Atahu Eloheinu, Atahu Adoneinu, Atahu Makeinu, Atahu Moshienu, Atahu Shehitiru, Avoteinu, Nefanecha et Doret Hasamim. Elenu. It is our duty to praise the master of all, to ascribe greatness to the author of creation. For he made us unlike the nations of lands, and has not placed us like the families of the earth. He has not made our portion like theirs, and are not all of their feet. And we bend the knee and bow, and acknowledge our thanks before the King of kings, O Lord, and blessed is he. He stretches out heaven and establishes earth's foundation, and the seat of his glory is in the heavens above, and the presence of his power is in the most exalted heights. He is our God, there is none other. True is our King, there is nothing beside him, as it is written in his Torah. And you shall know this day, and take to your heart, that the Lord, he is God, in the heavens above and on the earth below, there is none other. And it is said, the Lord shall be king over all the world. On the day, the Lord will be alone in the same one. Aleinu l'shebiach l'adon hakol L'atez gedula l'yotzer b'reishit Shelo asanu kegoye haratzot Velo samanu kemishpechot hadama Shelo sam khelkeinu kahem Gegor aleinu kechol hamonam Vanachnu korim umishtachavim umotim Livne melech malchei hamnachim Hakadosh baruch 
Teshamayim ve Yosef Aretz Moshev Yakarov Ashamayim Ima Ushekhina Tuzo Ushekhina Tuzo Begav Hei Neromim Hu Eloheinu Einod Emet Malkeinu Efezulato Master of the universe who reigns before any form was created, when creation came about by his will, then as king was him to him. And after all he has ceased to be, he alone will reign in awesomeness. And he was, and he is, and shall be eternally in splendor. And he is first. first. There, there is, is no, no second, second to compare to him. him. To, to be, be his equal, equal without, without beginning and without end. end. His is, is the power and dominion. dominion. And he is my God, my living Redeemer, and the rock of my pain in times of trouble, with a banner and a refuge for me, the portion of my cup in the day I call upon him. In his hands I entrust my spirit, in the time I sleep, for I am awake, and with my spirit, my body, the Lord is with me, I shall not fear. Adon olam asher malach Veterem kol yitzir nivra Leit naso bechev tzokol Hazai melech shemo nikra
Lord, we want to bless you. Avinu Malkeinu, our Father, our King, we want to thank you so much for the blessing and the gift that you've given us in Eliana, Lord. Father, you know that she is about to go into a new season of her life, Lord, where she's going from childhood into adulthood, Lord. I just pray that you would continue to guide her and that you would plant her, God, in your word, that she would always, always, always follow your word, and that your Ruach, Lord, would speak to her your words of life, a guiding word at every moment of her life, Lord, and that she would adhere to your commandments and to your will always. And we bless her in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for this opportunity, Lord. Lord, it's almost 13 years ago today that Margot came into our lives, Lord, and she really changed our lives. She rocked our world, Lord. She was brought up here in Bredom. We used to walk around during Bible study and she'd be in the strollers. We rolled around. She was here every, every Shabbat, Lord. She was dancing. She learned her love of dance when she was here, Lord. And we just thank you right now, Lord. And we pray that you guide her, continue to guide her in all her days, Lord. And Lord, we pray that your light shines through her, Lord, and that others see you through her in all that she does, all that she says. And Lord, we just thank you right now for your blessings. Amen. One uh, last thing before the young ladies lead us in the song, and that is we have a couple of gifts from the synagogue to them. So if uh, Catherine and Rabbi Jonathan, if you would hand them their gift, and uh, you ladies are welcome to open the gift up if you would like to. Right now, yeah, right now, yes. And this is a gift for from... From the congregation to you. No, there's more. That's. You know, my son at his bar mitzvah got a card that said, Congratulations, today you're a man, but tomorrow you'll be back in seventh grade. So, this is a set of Shabbat candlesticks for each of them, and a box of Shabbat candles that, uh, as when they have their own home, they will be prepared to welcome the Shabbat in uh, to their own home. So, and that's a gift from the synagogue to you. And now, if everybody, uh, if mom and dads, will just. Go back to your places, and Eliana and Margo, if you'll come to the piano. Yes, sir. 
Gather together with your loved ones as we close the prayer. And remember, uh, the cards are on the table over there to sign. Also, uh, I mentioned earlier that some had asked me about giving gifts. You are welcome to give gifts to the bat mitzvah, uh, both of them or either of them or however. But just give it directly to them. Don't put that in the sadaka box. Those gifts will go directly to the two young ladies. Also, you're welcome to throw candy at them. As long as it's soft candy, save the hard candy for the boys next week. Yevarech Adonai ve'yishmarecha Yair Adonai panav elecha v'chunecha Yis Adonai panav elecha Ve'yasem lecha shalom. Adonai bless you and keep you. Adonai make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Adonai lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. B'shem Yeshua Meshekenu Sar Shalom. In the name of Yeshua our Messiah, the Prince of Peace. Amen, amen. and amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shalom.